It's awesome. Let's open it up here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. what was that? Hey, what's going on guys? Tony here, CCXRC. We're gonna be taking out the Team Associated Pro 2 DK10 out here in the backyard. Just have a little fun. Last place we took it, we were trying to make it look kind of like a rally car. This time we got it on 3S. We're gonna see how it can handle out here on 3S, what kind of control we still have with it being only two wheel drive and uh, just have some fun ripping and playing. So let's do it. Sounds like some power there, 3S. All oh, right into a wreck, immediate. All right, here we go. You're just getting around and bashing on some jumps. There we go. Now we're feeling it. It it gets moving. Oh, on 3S. Definitely gets moving. So I hit the brakes, but it did not drop the front end. So I'm going to have to control it better just off the jumps. Like that. I held the throttle a little too long on that last one. I love seeing it throw in the roost, though. It's so cool. Nice. Little downside action. Every car, you just gotta kinda learn how to handle and just learn to drive it. This one seems to definitely catch some air underneath that body when you're airing it out. That kind of jump is awesome for it. That one did all right too. You can see the back tires ballooning, or I can see it. Maybe you can't on video. So 3S is definitely giving it some wheel speed, which it's just traction out here is the, the issue in general because everything's so loose, which I love. I love just seeing it throw the dirt, rip the corners like that. But the back tires are definitely expanding under 3S. They're getting tall when I really pull trigger. Nice skip. Hop, skip, and a jump. DK10 airing it out. We're still not done here. We just kind of have been testing the sand uh, specifically because of the motorcycle. Oh, that was a clean jump right there and uh, just deciding how much sand we want to do versus how much uh, dirt. And I've got piles, so I can either put dirt down as another base layer, or I can put the sand down as a base layer and cover it with dirt. My only worry with the dirt is the grass grows so fast in the dirt, and it does not as, uh, grow as fast in the sand. The sand is awesome with my monster trucks and with cars like this. Oh, I stuck something there. I, I absolutely love running on this for these type of vehicles. Yeah, you can see it, look at that. So, it's it's a tough decision. It's harder with the motorcycle on the sand because it wants to wash out. And so I ended up putting another base layer of dirt down, which I was just doing anyway because the tractor can't really drive on the sand when it's too thick, so I had to do a base of dirt. Um, I was planning to put sand on the whole top of it, but now I'm kind of torn about what I'm going to do. So I might do some dirt with some sand jumps and if it grasses in, it grasses in. The main thing was I wanted to level this area out up here for just a better driving experience, which we definitely have. Um, so that's a win. But this thing is fun out here. Just drifting around like that. So cool. There's times when I really just prefer a two wheel drive like this. I think that the, oh, I think the stabilization helps because it does make it drivable instead of just always, like I can get it to break the corner and then just hold trigger and it'll straighten itself out and just keep going where I want it to go. It's awesome. You wouldn't have that if you didn't have the, uh, 
the DVC that they have, their vehicle control system that's built in like a gyro. So that's allowing for some of this really fun, cool factored running that we're doing here, where it's just kind of, oh. So that's one issue with <laughs> too much sand. If it's too thick sand, it's good. It's great for the jumps like this, but getting that starting traction is tough. So I only want like a top layer and then the jumps. But yeah, if I could just keep it loose like this, everything, I would be, I would be in heaven. This is my kind of driving style right here. Loose dirt, bunch of uh, just the little pebbles and stuff, not even pebbles and just dirt chunks that are thrown around and it's awesome. Let's open it up here. Oh, what was that? Kind of came off it crooked. Yeah, I like it. I think they, they made a really cool car. And I found out that this is kind of based even off of what I used to have, like the the buggy that they used to do as a roller, like the race spec. It's got some of that kind of stuff going on. So it's a pretty proven platform. And uh, uh, get it. There we go. They would be really fun to just have several of them with your buddies and just get out and race them. But that's anything. If you have multiples of the same ones and you can just get out and have fun with friends, at that point, any RC is fun. And I think that's why so many of the other ones where just a bunch of people have them and you all get out and you run the same type of, type of things, whether it's the Cratons or anything, it's fun. There's just some, like with our monster trucks, there's just a lot of people that have them, so it's easy to get together with people with kind of similar vehicles to run races and that kind of stuff. So this battery pack's gonna run out soon. It's just one of the uh, 3300 3S Reedy packs that I had bought a while back for one of my monster trucks. Speaking of monster trucks, it's a shorty pack, so. I like it on 3S, especially in this loose stuff. On 2S, it probably would feel a little slow on this having that little extra but a bit of power in there is definitely enjoyable i'm running half throttle most of the time but there's times when i just use that extra speed in the corners to to get get going like after i come out of a corner like that it takes a little while to build up speed in the grass no problem but on this loose stuff once I corner and if I want to hit a jump, I'm, I'm really on the trigger. So I think you'd probably want to live on 3S with this vehicle. I feel like it's still, I mean, you're watching it here. I feel like it's still really controlled. Oh, as I said, I look down at the camera to make sure I'm filming and I roll it. <laughs> but I mean, this is just like straight eight minutes or so. It says eight minute mark on the camera right now. I know I've shut it off a couple times when I went to pick it up in the beginning, but pretty good run run time and keeping it going so hopefully i'm putting the camera i'm using a different um phone holder than typical and so i just looked down and i was kind of shooting low so hopefully i wasn't doing that too long you definitely want to let go of the throttle early on when you jump with these especially the big ones because it's not easy to recover once your, your nose starts rising up like that. And then the wind catches and uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't settle down like a, a four wheel drive vehicle. Did it again. So that's just one thing. I kind of find that if I let off just, just as I'm hitting it, it'll, let, it'll uh, let it fly level. I can usually give it a little punch to uh, to settle. Sorry, I'm getting attacked by a fly here. Let's try this one jump that's been giving me trouble. See, see if I'm being truthful with that whole... Yeah, if I let go right as I'm hitting it, it kind of settles it down. Nice corner. Oh! Hit it sideways. That was just bad driving right there. Just plain old, ran out of talent on that one. I 
I can actually see me reaching for this one to play with here in the yard. Oh, come on. There we go. Hit the brakes. There's just something fun about the way it rips the corners and watching that two wheel drive spin it around like that. And I'm definitely doing a lot of input throttle or uh, steering input as I'm driving. Oh, too much on that. <laughs> but it makes it fun to drive. I'm liking the, the amount of input that I'm given to, to control the car. Ugh, missed the jump. Oh, that was clean. Rip the corner, come over my whoops, there we go. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Bumper saved me though. Oh, whoops. That was so clean looking. I can't believe the amount of battery life this thing's given me on a 3300 pack right now. I should probably check the motor because I'm really ripping it and pulling full trigger a lot on this. Yeah, it's getting warm. I think we'll call that good, guys. Anyway, there it is. Again, I told you I was going to do multiple videos on this. There's another one. I'm going to do a couple upright shots of this thing for Instagram and all that, but what a blast. Short, I love the size of this. Uh-oh. Oh, no, it's just a stick. I thought that was a wire. <laughs> I was like, oh, crud. But no, guys, definitely having a blast with this thing. Uh, very, very cool. And... Um, I feel like they got it handling really good for a two-wheel drive. So uh, take it for what it is, guys. Have fun RC and catch you next time.